What's up everybody? Welcome back to Biker Mike Motors. We are here today. Check out a couple of uh, couple of cool trucks and an RV. You know how much I like my RVs here at Copart, Old Pascagoula Road, Mobile. And I actually have a, uh, just yesterday, won a Ford 7.3 diesel truck. So keep an eye open for that because that's going to be coming up on the channel. New video coming up as well as a few others I got ready to go. Just got to upload them. But let's go find this first car. And the first one up on the list today. Pretty big fan of these. I think I've had a couple of these in the past videos for some walk arounds and I like them, man. I like them. Jeep Wrangler. Jeep Wrangler. I think this one is a 06. Yep, 06 Wrangler. And that guy in the loader down there, just a little side note, driving away right now. He actually just came up and asked me what my channel name was. So forgot to get your name, but thank you, buddy. I appreciate it, man. He said you're going to look it up, check out some videos, give me some input. And that's all I want from you guys, too. Like I always say, if you like the videos, please share and subscribe. Back to this Rubicon here, this Wrangler Rubicon. These are uh, pretty rare to find, guys. You don't see too many Rubicons. At least I don't kind of a rare model it's got some this one is unknown damage here and i kind of i seen a little bit of damage on it already right here when i was walking up to it so you got a little hit right there it's not not bad can't open <laughs> can't open the back because it hits against that there's no way to fold that out but some really not bad condition i mean really trying to figure out why this thing is here right now and i kind of was looking as we were walking around it checking out the frame frame does not look bad it's obviously got a lift kit in it tires a little bit of dry rot between the treads but not bad matching set of hankook tires let's see if we can find a date code on these 32nd week of 2017 so tires are about five years old you guys tell me what you think this is actually coming up for auction in about an hour, and I am very seriously bidding on this, but the more I walk around it, the more I see some little things wrong with it, like right here. You got that dent right there. Not a huge deal. Oh, I just seen this too. I kind of, it looked like in the pictures that this is how this was supposed to be. Like it was almost just bent back, but now that I look at it more, this is definitely supposed to be up here more, and it definitely came back and hit here. So we're gonna have to take a good look at that see what's going on underneath the hood here we're gonna crawl underneath this thing too rubicons man they, they bring some money guys i'm sure anybody any of you know about jeeps and the market for these jeeps these things uh they bring some money but oh well we may not even be able to get this open oh all right we got it we got it we got it all right All right, that took a lot more effort than it feels like it should have, but. It looks like exhaust manifold gaskets newer. Engine looks clean. I don't see any, uh, let's see, check out the coolant looks a little low, but okay. that lights on there make sure this doesn't explode on us and there's a little bit of coolant in there a little bit of coolant pretty clean this thing i think i remember if i remember correctly this thing only had about 90 90 something thousand miles on it. you got an optima battery so you figure you know 200 hundred battery right there at least two three hundred dollar battery Let's check the engine oil see how that looks decently clean right where it's supposed to be decently dirty too kind of halfway in the middle depending on how you look at it cup half full or half empty but no that oil is a little dirty <laughs> it needs to definitely coming up to need an oil change but not bad for right now uh do we have a transmission dipstick in here i believe we do somewhere is it on the same side all right i don't see any transmission dipstick so we're not gonna worry oh of course there's not it's a rubicon it should be stick shift i think it should be six speed yes yep six speed someone took the radio out of it interior let's get <laughs> smells like a jeep 
a Jeep that hasn't been beat up too bad. Does not smell. There's no watery smells or uh, crazy amounts of dirt built up anywhere in here. I mean, this thing really, really is not bad. I, and like I said, this one's coming up in about an hour at the auction. Before we start this thing up, because I think it will start. I seen the. All right, so for, we got to go through this here. It's, fluids look okay to start it. This is definitely hit here, but it didn't push the anything back into the in the fan blade there, so that's okay. You got your KC fog lights up here. Let's uh, before we start this, let's crawl underneath it here quick. Oh god! Oh yeah! All right, so someone's got. I think uh, what is that called? I I don't know why I'm drawing a blank right now. I wanted to say long arm, but I don't think it's long, it's not long arm. It's just the traction bars or stabilizer bars. Uh, transmission. I don't see <laughs> really don't see any leaks down here, which is good. Normally, all the time these rear main seals have got you know pretty good amount of oil on them just from dripping. And I, the one thing I don't see any of, which I'm really happy to see, any rust. So someone's got the Skyjacker lift kit in here. I'll tell you what, this thing is looking pretty good so far. Let's go ahead and start this thing up. Let's see where we're at with the engine. Oh, tires are pretty decent, like I said. Let's see if I can get in here. Oh my God. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my God. All right, we got power. Like I said, stick shift, which is awesome. E-brakes on. Clutch. Clutch feels good. Clutch feels very good. Let's go ahead and fire her up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you got windshield. I mean, all this little stuff adds up. You got your windshield here. You're going to have to re get that redone. There's 150, 200 bucks. I don't know if that happened in the accident or not. We'll have to go check around that windshield frame too, because just to make sure nothing got hit there. Also to make sure that it's not rusty. Cause these have a uh, windshield frames on the Wranglers of all years that I've seen have a problem with rusting out. No check engine lights on good oil pressure. Alternators charging engine feels good. Smooth. Go ahead, put it in gear. Transmission felt good going into first. Let's give it a little bit. Of... Oh yeah. Yep, going forward. Put it in reverse. Yep, yep. All that seems to be good. Transmission feels solid. Go ahead and put it in four low for a second. See how that feels. Right into four low. And we do have the four-wheel drive light on there. Let's see, see how she feels. Is she in four low? Oh yeah, she Yep. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Alright, we'll go back to two-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive lights off. This thing, guys, you tell me. It's been a while since I bought a Wrangler, but I know these things are they i'd like to say hold their value but if anything i feel like they even go up in value someone has rhino lined the inside of this took the carpet out not a big deal now i actually kind of prefer that it's easier to clean you can see more of what's going on there's no rust or anything uh let's see if the ac works okay i didn't hear the compressor kick on doesn't mean it didn't but i did not hear it kick on Uh, okay, so AC is another thing that's going to need to get fixed too. We'll let this run for a minute. Make sure that e-brake's on all the way. A little bit of steering wheel's torn up there, but not bad. Rubicon, guys. Rubicon. I, I Honestly, this is probably one of like only a handful I've ever seen of these in the last years. Uh, we got a little bit of a, a bow in the fender right there, if you can see that. 
Oh, the AC compressor is kicking on too, so that's good. It might just need Freon. Like I said, guys, this engine is clean, clean. Very clean. I don't think someone was not using this for uh, off-roading. Someone was just using this for a, a mall crawler daily driver. And they were taking pretty good care of it. You got these fen this fender here, or the fender, grill. You're gonna have to replace that, so that's one thing for sure. Other than that, let's take a look underneath the front end here. You guys tell me, but ball joints look good, tie rods look okay. Nothing's hit up underneath here, is it? Yeah, the bottom of the radiator sport looks okay. Look at that bottom of that engine out. Dry it looks like there's no, no leaks at all. You got a little scrape right there from the bigger tires. You got your quick release sleigh bar links for off roading. And the Rubicons, from what I remember, I believe they have all uh, different differentials and a transfer case from the regular regulars. A little bit more heavy duty, a little bit more off road, uh, you know, a little bit more made for off roading. Well, guys, we're on a I don't know how much more I could talk about this one. We are on a little bit of a time crunch here. Like I said, this one's up in about an hour and we got two more to look at. So we're gonna, we're gonna head on to the next one, but you guys tell me what you think. Oh, and the AC is blowing cold. Probably been sitting for a while, so it took a minute to get going, but yeah, this, <laughs> wow. I'm uh, I'm pretty impressed with this thing, guys. I am not, I came out here, especially lately, you guys seen some of the videos how hard it is to find something that's actually in good condition out here but here's the windshield frame and it doesn't look like all these gaps look okay a lot of times you could you'll find rust starting here or rust hole in here i don't see any of that all right guys yeah we're, we're gonna bid on this one comment below tell me what you think you would bid this to and also what you think you could resell it for it's gonna have a salvage title and it's listed as lost type all over so yeah guys you let me know what you think and i'm gonna go find the next one and get this one shut off find the next one on our list just kidding we're not done yet <laughs> i actually just wanted to show you guys something that i crawled around it one more time as i was shutting the engine off and shutting the hood and i just something was telling me to get underneath it one more time and look at it and look what i found guys glad i checked it out i don't even know how this would happen and because of that, you know, maybe somebody out there with more knowledge than me could say that this is just something minor, but I don't know. So I'm going to stay away from this one. But as you can see there, the exhaust is right up against the front drive shaft. And it's already been rubbing against it. You can see there that it's been rubbing against. Let's see if I can get a good angle here to show you guys. Yeah, see, look at the exhaust is all dented in. And the side of it, the exhaust is right up against the drive shaft here. So it's gonna be a no-go for me guys no go for me i'm not if it was just the stuff i seen that would have been fine but this right here tells you it's got something more serious going on um i kind of disappointed because i really want a bit of this thing but it's not worth it if it's going to be a fix that i don't understand or don't know what the potential you know I've, if i have to bring it to a shop and i don't have any idea what the repair cost on something like this would be to me, it doesn't seem that bad. It's just something minor, but I don't know what's actually causing it. I don't know if the frame is off or something way more serious, but that's uh, that's where we're at with that one. So I actually, I'm winning the pre-bid right now at about 3,000. So I guess at that price, it wouldn't be too bad, but it's almost guaranteed it's gonna get bit above that. So there's something to look for, guys. Make sure when you're out here, not only are you looking at this stuff, but you are scrutinizing it and you are going over it with a fine tooth comb because there can always be some stuff that slips by and you don't notice it till you got it in your driveway. So make sure you check this stuff out very carefully and very thoroughly. Now we're gonna be on to the next one. Which is, which is another Jeep Wrangler. And this one I just seen, gonna be a little bit of a quicker one on this one because there is no key. So not gonna be able to start this one. We'll take a quick look inside. Maybe we can find it. Once in a while you can find a spare key hidden around somewhere, but this is 05 Wrangler, not a Rubicon. Orange, which I like the orange. It's got some aftermarket wheels on it. Dixie Peck tires. If that means anything. 
but I mean, them tires not too bad to tread. Can't find a date on them, but yeah, I can't find a date on these, but not too bad to tread. Starting to get a little drier. Eh, not really starting to get actually pretty good shape. Thought I seen some dry rot, but no. At the hard top, which is nice. I think this one had some damage on the driver's side. Yeah, the passenger or the driver's side door panel is missing. Doesn't smell too bad. Doesn't smell too good either, but it doesn't smell too bad. I don't see any uh looking for a key. I was hoping maybe we'd find a key hidden away somewhere, but I don't think that's gonna happen. And this, I mean, this side of it looks pretty decent. Someone's got some aftermarket fender flares on it, which eh, not too big of a fan of those. I like the stock ones better, but I was wanting a bit on this one too and i could have sworn it was listed for runs and drives but i've been looking at so many cars lately that i could easily mess that up somewhere and confuse it with something different but we can't even let's see can we open this door the handle's missing on this side <clears throat> yeah, we can't even open that maybe we can oh yeah we can there we go just have to play with those rods a little bit there and got it opened up and this is the damage on this side it looks like something ripped off the uh fender flares and also put this dent here this dent to me almost looks like someone had already been already been uh grinding the paint off getting ready to maybe pin pull it or something and get it get it straightened back out i'm not sure if someone already started fixing this thing and gave up or or what's going on but i got a clean frame underneath there underneath of this thing is clean which that goes a long way with me having no rust i don't like this right here i just seen this as i was standing up you got uh uneven treads here i don't know if you could see that but like it, this one's higher than every couple that one's higher going back which means this thing probably rides pretty rough and bumpy and it also means that something is worn out or not adjusted correctly and it's causing the tires to wear like that so even though the tires are relatively new you're probably gonna have to replace that and whatever other components are worn out with the steering suspension. Like I said, we can't start it, but I'll go ahead and check the fluids out quick. Maybe we'll throw a few bids on it if it stays cheap. Maybe. See, sometimes some people put a key underneath here. I don't see that. Let's check the oil in it. The engine don't look too bad. I mean, not like it has a bunch of leaks everywhere. The oil looks good. A little, little dirty, a little overfilled, but not bad. Check the transmission fluid. And that's one way, guys, if you're out here looking at stuff and you happen to see a car you like and it don't start or the mileage isn't listed and you can't get, there's no key to check the mileage. Transmission fluid looks okay. Kind of like a normal darkest brown. Starting to get a little bit older looking, but not bad. Still relatively good. Yeah, if you ever see something out here. I just wanted to see. Yeah, those battery connections are loose too. Not that that matters, but oh, someone's got the little shorty antenna on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is... uh. You got a little ding in the windshield there. And I like to point this stuff out to you guys because it, it adds up quick. It, and I know you probably hear me say this a million times if you've seen my other videos. But I just like to, you know, other than enjoying making these videos, I like to be able to pass on some information and knowledge to you guys. And try to keep you from making some of the bad decisions that I have or just, you know, bad auction decisions in general that can easily happen. You got someone's throwing around the... Oh, carpet's a little wet. That could be where that weird smell's coming from. Got some parts down there. Door handle. Looks like maybe a regular window regulator or something. Which this window is. Yeah, that could be that. And oh, and here we go. This is what I was gonna say. If you ever see a vehicle out here that you don't know the mileage on it, there's no key. Won't start. You need the key to see the mileage. Like this one. Here you go. You look for an oil change sticker because a lot of times. It's one thing that a lot of people will keep up with is oil changes. And they always, if it's been relatively recently changed, you'll be able to still see the date, 
mileage on there and this one was due for its next service December 8th of 2022 at 103,000 so you could probably safely say this thing's got about a buck 10 on it right now around there around 110,000 miles but without being able to start it I don't think we're going to dig into this one too much. It's going to be about as much as we look at it. We only, ooh, I need to be careful shutting that door with that glass like that. Oh, we got some more parts back here, too. Parts everywhere, guys. Parts everywhere. Even those shocks work for this. Oh, no, they don't. I lied. I have to use my head to hold this thing up. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, they got a work order for the car, too. Oh, I don't want to show anybody's name there, but, well, I just wanted to look back here quick for a key, but that's going to be about it for this one, guys. It's uh, something I would bid on, and I will bid on, but it would be very cheap to leave me some room in case there's any fixes or other stuff that I can't tell right now because of not having a key, not being able to start it, so... We're going to watch this one. We're going to watch this one. See what it goes for. Might throw some bids on it if it stays cheap. And until it comes up, we only I think we got another 30 minutes or so before the auction starts. So let's run off and find this last one on my list. And the last one up for today. 2010 Freightliner RV. Pretty big. I know some of you guys like to see these RV videos. This one, we're not going to be able to have as good of an interior video on because this one is a fire damage and it looks like most of that burn was inside. I have not even cracked the door open to see what it looks like in there yet. So we're gonna be taking a look at it for the first time together, but she's a big one. She is big. Got a little dent down here. Always amazes me how just simple these things are. I mean, not only is it huge, but it's just a big flat, <laughs> flat front end with a couple lights thrown in there. And I mean, it's just, Eh, maybe it's the little kid in me coming out, but I think it's crazy. It looks like those are locked there. I was going to see what that was. Let's see. I'll put you guys up in here. You tell me how bad it looks burned. I can see from here. It looks like it definitely got, got the brunt of some fire damage. A little walk around. It's got big slide out here, which I love. I'd love to have one of these someday for myself, and I definitely would want one with some slide outs because once you park it, you get that much extra room, you slide those out, and you know the interior, you got that much extra room inside for living space, and that, I'm sure, goes a long way. Another one of these ladders, guys. <laughs> this one's off the ground a little farther. I could still pull myself up there, but you guys have to comment and let me know how bad do you want to see me climb these ladders and go on the roof of these things and see what's going on up there. Another slide out on this side, just one slide out, yeah. You got one more slide out on this side. So you got a lot of slide outs on this, which is, is nice. Two big ones on that side, one smaller one on this side, which I'm guessing is for the bedroom area back here. Looks like where the batteries used to go. Probably pulled those out because of the fire, just to make sure. Let's see if this door opens. It's, this door does not open. You guys, you think we're safe to go underneath this thing? Some risky stuff here risky stuff i hope that thing does not fall it looks like it won't uh it looks like this is where a tv went on the outside here Go ahead. open this up what's in here got some storage along the bottom a lot of storage actually look at all these compartments here i don't want to spend too much time standing underneath this uh awning here that looks like it's about to fall on me so Check out a couple of those quick and let's get inside here. See what kind of damage we can get ourselves into. Man, that door is heavy, but she's opening. All right. Nice handle to pull myself up in here with. Oh, and I can already smell that, that fire damage. Wow, wow. Some star kiss tuna that made it through the fire. Can't go wrong with that stuff. Yeah, look at the old gun there. Look at that windshield just from the smoke and residue remnants of fire. Wow. Wow, this thing was tore up. We're not going to go too much farther than this, but just to give you guys an idea of, 
I mean, look at that microwave is melted. All of the, I mean, this thing is, uh, this thing needs to go to the scrap yard. You got to, along the roof here, all these lights that were here have just fallen out or melted out. Look at this one. Wow, that's what that smell is. You can smell a lot of plastic burn in here. Look at the refrigerator. Whew. It's like something out of a scary movie. Couch there, and you can see way back there is the, uh, what used to be the bedroom and bathroom area. And this was kind of like the family room area, kitchen area here. You can see the sink there and stuff, but uh, it's going to be as far as we go with this one, guys. Check out the driver's area here he's still in it there's no no batteries so you don't have to worry about anything there but how I, I was gonna shut that window but i'll leave that open they probably have that open for a reason well that's gonna be it guys i know this was a quick one with the rv i like to usually try to show more but it just was not too much to show on this one but i did want to show you guys that fire damage and how uh and i'm sure you guys know but sometimes until you see it it doesn't really do the justice of showing you how bad you know fire damage can get and how it can really just tear everything up like that and hope whoever was in this thing is okay and they got out of there before that fire got too bad but and there's these things on the side here too i noticed this when i was walking by what is this power gear hmm i'm not sure exactly what that is oh it looks like that's what actually grabs the slide out and pulls it out i guess is that what that is because there's two there too i think that's what that is look like they're like the hydraulic uh kind of jack things that pull out the the slide outs from the side we'll check out one more of these storage compartments too man look at that that's a big old storage compartment i think it goes all the way back there too and nothing down here got affected it looked like all this is uh even got some drapes right there. All this stayed safe from the fire. But anyways, that is going to be it. And we are going to head on out of here. All right, guys. That's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We are heading on out of here. Auction starts about five minutes. So I want to watch these two Jeeps, see what they sell for. Watch that RV. I mean, I'm interested to see what RV that badly fire damage is going to sell for. And you guys let me know if there's anybody out there that knows more than I do about frames and the Jeeps like that. Let me know what's up with that exhaust hitting the drive shaft on that white Rubicon. To me, that's got me a little scared because I was ready to bid on that thing and bid it up. And now, yeah, just not having that same same mentality with the pro, you know possibility that I could run into some problem that <sighs> requires some frame off restoration or, you know, a lot of work that I don't want to get into. So if you know what's going on with that, have any idea, comment below. Let me know what you think. If you like the video, please like it, subscribe, share. Uh, appreciate all you guys watching. And we're going to head on out of here. So you guys stay safe. We'll catch you in the next one.